A couple of weeks ago, Julie in our radio room had the chance to see how boat crew operate. There's um, the outrigger, that's what they've gone out to support the outriggers, that's mm -hmm. one of the boats has gone to do. There's yep. a swimming competition thing here over the weekend and they'll be out training today, as well as the fact that it's good weather. So today radio returned the favour and invite Lindsay, a new member of Coast Guard, arriving for his first crew day. This is Coast Guard in Lullabar. Sorry, what time are you returning? Over? Gone out, they've towed him back in, and now they've shortened the tow rope to bring him through the entrance of the river. Oh. But once they come into the river, they then raft them to, you know, put them on the side. He looks little next to our big boat, but this is... Um... Our crew had a 4 a.m. call out this morning, so Lindsay missed out on the trip and got filled in on what radio operations do from day to day instead while he waited for the boats to return to base. We can look around the Blinker, which is a very popular fishing spot. Don't see a whole heck of a lot out there sometimes, but yeah. there you go, there's a few out there boat fishing mm. on the Blinker positions. So, for example, Calandra, and it'll just go around to Calandra. Mm. Sometimes locks up a bit, so see those Calandra. Yeah. All right, you've got, say... Yeah, because the bar's quite treacherous, isn't it? It can be, very much so. Quite, the, like it starts... And the other thing is, too, especially our boats, when they're towing someone, they don't have full control. No. Because they've mm. got to be mindful of the, the boat behind them. Mm. Mm. So if there's people going across there, surfing the waves, whatever, mm. Mm. It um, can make life oh, yeah. dangerous. What time did they go out this morning? The first call was this morning. The first call was four o'clock or something. The first assist they did. So usually we just get two entries, one for each boat. So, Today's your first day. Mm. They would be unlikely to have called you to come in to do an assist at four yeah. o'clock. If you remember, we've got all that information already. There's only yeah. four things we need to know. How many people on board? Mm -hmm. Where are you going? When are you planning on coming back? Mm -hmm. And the last three digits of the mobile that's on board. So that's all we need to know. If the mobile on board does not match, if it doesn't match what we've got in our system, we then ask for the full number. Oh. So they're the four things we need to know for you yeah. to go out if you're a member of, mm -hmm. a supporter of Coast Guard. If you're yeah. not, we need to know much more than that. Like I've got 42 on the log, which is a good day for us. We do the courses here, so depending on whether you're a supporter of Coast Guard, whether you're just a member of the public or whether you're a volunteer, mm. it varies. Yeah. Volunteers these days don't have to pay for it. But yeah, we offer a reduced rate for any of our training programs that we run to people that are supporters of Coast Guard. Thank you. Skipper on this one today is Steve Delgaris. Oh, I thought it was Glenn. I thought it was with Glenn. Well, Glenn's on Rotary 3. He's on the other one. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's not the one I would have been on anyway. Well, not necessarily. That can change. On oh, there's Richard's drone. Rotary 3, this is Coast Guard and Little Bell. Rotary 3, back in the river, please. Rotary 3, back in the river, thanks. Coast Guard and Little Bell, out. Should I go out and help them? Oh, if you like. Yeah, I mean, certainly go down and you can talk to them and, you know. Coast Guard and Little Bell, Coast Guard and Little Bell.